Today I'm going to show you 10 of the best foreign release Star Wars posters. Oh. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. Can you believe it's time for another video already? That either means it's the next day or I'm extremely bored. Maybe a little bit of both. Before we get started, why am I way over here on the screen or way over on this side of the screen? I'm going to leave all this room here to show you foreign Star Wars posters. And there's some really wacky ones out there. But before we get started, as always, support this channel. Head over to Patreon.com where you get a lot of exclusive content, commentary on videos, longer cut videos, which I have been kind of slack with that lately. Sorry about that. Bloopers and a lot more. Also, if you want to support this channel, go over to that junkman.com and buy some cool t-shirts like this. Ain't that a cool t-shirt? Damn right it is. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I'm going to show you 10 of what I think is the best foreign posters out there from Star Wars. Now, we're going to stick with just Star Wars or as you young kids call it, A New Hope. We're not going to look at Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, or any other films. But if you like this video, thumbs up, leave some comments that you like it. And maybe we'll look at some of the Empire Strikes Back, and then we'll go on from there. So let's get started. I'm going to be looking over here a lot. I like to look at the camera when I'm doing these videos. But I'm going to be looking over here to my computer screen a lot. So I can look at the poster myself. Because see, even you'll see the poster here. I can't see it here. When I look this way, all I see is a bunch of Star Wars junk. Eh, and alien junk and some Indiana Jones junk, but so if you're wondering why I keep looking this direction and not at your pretty face It's because I'm looking at the posters on this side. Okay. Okay. Who cares where I'm looking? Let's get started Look at this first Star Wars poster and it comes from this here is the Turkish poster This here is the Turkish post. This here is the Turkish poster Tur Turkish Turkish poster that's hard to say when you can't talk like me. Uh, it's not really that much different uh, I mean, it's got the same, same familiar logo or picture that we all seen in the U.S. release. And most people have seen this poster. This was released in 1978, a little after the release of the film. I think this is actually a 79 poster I'm looking at it. And it's got a Academy Award winner, a little logo down at the bottom. Uh, it's got Star Wars written in English. And, of course, it's got uh, the Turkish language at the bottom. But... Nothing really different there, but I thought we kind of started off with light. Now, let's see what's next. I'm going to skip this one and this one, and let's talk about... Let's go to South Korea. Come on. Uh, this is a very interesting poster. I like this one here. It's got a... I'm not really sure. It's a 1978 poster. Not sure what all it says at the top right there, because I can't read Korean. In fact, it's hard for me to even read English. Um, well, you got the Han... You got the... You got the Luke and Leia right there, kind of famous picture you all seen, Darth Vader's head in the background. So it's kind of like that original poster with some elements added to it. It's got the Stormtrooper in the hallway added, kind of weird there, it's got Obi-Wan. Looks like he's firing a laser bolt, but I guess that's his lightsaber. It's kind of odd looking Obi-Wan, but uh, you got Han Solo in his famous pose. I got uh, Chewbacca hidden in the background behind Leia back there, you got the famous uh, R2. So it looks like they took a lot of the famous poses. I don't think I've seen that Obi-Wan. It might be it's like it's right from the beginning of the of the fight scene. But the Vader head, the Han, the Chewie, the Luke and Leia, the R2 and 3PO, you've all seen that before. So it looks like they kind of just added that. And that is a look at the South Korean poster. Let's jump to the Italian poster. Really like this one here. Uh, it's kind of got a comic book art feel to it. Although, let's be honest, it doesn't look anything like Luke Skywalker or Princess Leia. Darth Vader's hidden in the background back there, so they wasn't really focused on Darth Vader here, it doesn't look like. We've got a TIE fighter in the background. I don't know if the round black part is supposed to be space, or is that the Death Star? I think that's just space. We've got a couple of planets. We've got Luke Skywalker there wearing a yellow bathrobe, and his, you know, he's got it opened all the way up. You can see some, uh, I think I actually see some hair down by his belly. Looks like he's wearing no pants at all. No pants at all. Princess Leia. She's wearing her white outfit, but it's a little more risque than it was in the film. Uh, we've got the title right there that says Star Wars. Can't read what it says because, again, I can't speak Italian. Uh, it's got the actor's name. Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Peter Crushing, and Alec Guinness. 
It's odd that they have Harrison Ford's name on here, but Han Solo's nowhere on the poster. But then again, Peter Cushing isn't either, but he's not as mean of a character as Han Solo. I think they would have put uh, Han Solo in some kind of art where he's like a dashling pirate or something. Let's see what else we got here. Let's go over to Japan. You want to go to Japan with me? Let's go. Here's a nice poster. Hmm, this looks the most... Did I talk about this one? It just looks... Okay, it looks just like the South Korean poster. Sorry, I don't... I must not have caught that. I wouldn't have put it on there because I tried to do all different pictures. So, this one was a 1978, I guess, again, after the Academy Awards. We already talked about this one, kind of. I don't really see any different. Let me go back and look at the other to see if there is any different. Uh, other than the text, I don't really see any different. So, again, I apologize for putting this one on the list. Uh, let's go to Poland. And this is an interesting Poland uh, poster here. Very interesting. I can't read what it says. It's probably just got the name and... I think it's probably, it's probably just got the name of the film and maybe that it won some Oscars or something. But this is the Poland, I call it C-3PO poster. That's right. Why would you do a character? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love C-3PO. But trying to market this film in 77 or 78, whenever it was released over in Poland, why focus on 3PO? And from what I found, they didn't do a character poster. You could understand maybe they did a poster for each character, but apparently they didn't. But maybe this does catch your eyes like what is that is that a robot is that a droid um robot you don't hear that word but when did the word robot die out okay i'm rambling now but you know it went from robot to droid to android you don't really hear nobody say robot anymore but again i'm rambling here and yeah. doesn't even have star wars i'm guessing one of those words at the top that i can't read said star wars but you think it would be much bigger and catch your eye a little bit more but nope there's the 3PO poster. Kind of odd, again, that they picked 3PO with just those background of stars. It is kind of weird. Now, let's get very weird here. And, uh, hopefully, this won't fit on here because this is a banner-type poster. If it doesn't fit, I'll just zoom it in. So you don't have to look at my face the whole time, do you? This is a 1979 poster from Hungary. Mm, I am hungry. Hungary, is that how you say it? Is it Hungary? Hungary? I don't know. Uh, I can't see where it says Star Wars. It's got one minus two. Don't know what that means either. But look at it. It's got the Bantha back there in the background. I can recognize the Bantha. It does. It looks like some kind of weird mutation of Al Moore Akbar riding it. Chewbacca, I guess, is right there on the front with it looks like some exhaust fumes from a ship over his face. But you can still see his eye. His eye is like over the fumes, but the rest of them is behind the smoke. Don't really understand that. You got some stormtroopers down at the bottom. You got what, it looks like a tank, but I'm guessing it's the Sandcrawler. You got the Death Star, because I see the little dot in the middle of it. You got a very funky looking C-3PO that's kind of like a cross between C-3PO and the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. Which has a lot of parallels, I guess, between Wizard of Oz and Star Wars. And you got R2-D2 sliding across there. And that's a cool looking poster. I wouldn't mind having that hanging on a wall. That looks very neat. Let's stay at Hungry, or Hungry, or... However you say it, if you're from there, I'm sorry. I can't even speak good English sometimes. Uh, this is a very weird looking poster right here. Uh, released in 1979. It shows the TIE fighter down there making the trench run. You got Darth Vader, a weird looking Darth Vader. I mean, look at his face. Can't even hardly make it out as Darth Vader, but it's very interesting. Look in the back, you got a dragon holding a knife. Where are they coming with that at? A dragon holding a knife. You got R2's dome just floating there in the middle. Uh, the rest of it, eh, got the Death Star blowing up in the back. That's kind of neat. Let's see, we looked at South Korea. Let's go to Russia. We got some really great stuff over here in Russia. Look at this one right here. This is known as the Rock Face poster. At least that's what I call it. I don't know if everybody calls it that. Looks kind of like Swamp Thing to me. Uh, he's floating up. Maybe this is looks like Thanos from, uh, what was that, the Avenger movie? Uh, floating up to the Death Star. It's really weird. It's got USA down in the corner. I'm not really sure why they put USA. Let people know where it was made, I guess. Let people know this isn't a Russian-made movie. I'm not saying they make bad movies or not. Just saying it's got the USA written right there. So I'm not really sure why. Uh, you got the looks like it's going into light speed, but the rock creature face is that supposed to be Darth Vader? I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I'm guessing there's no rock creature in the movie, but. Uh, in fact, while we're at Russia, let's go on over and look at uh, another Russian Russian poster. It's one of my favorite. Right here, it's the lightsaber candle in the head poster. I guess that's Darth Vader again. Do these people see the movie or do they just draw up a bunch of uh, art for it? 
It's got a lot of how it's got a lot of symbols around the poster. It really makes no sense. Let me lean in closer. I mean, I see an eye and a triangle. Maybe this is some kind of luminality posters. I don't know. It looks like a, maybe a jaw over in the corner. But you got this Darth Vader looking thing with fangs and evil teeth. But it's got lightsabers coming out of his head. I guess that's lightsabers. I really don't understand what they're going for here, but it looks badass if you ask me. Uh, let's go look at this Italian poster really quick. I like this one. It's kind of old school. Uh, you know, it's got... I like that they used pictures from the film to sell the poster. You first hit the top corner, you got it looks like cut off from another poster. You got the X-Wing fleeing the TIE Fighter. You got Luke there about to get his rope out and swing across the bridge. Kind of odd scene. Looks like a production picture. It looks like they would have, uh, you know, picked up seeing him swing across maybe. This is an odd picture to choose to put right there. And then in the center, you got this uh, sand trooper on the do back. Uh, scene you didn't see in the movie. Great scene. I remember it was in the Star Wars novel book I had as a kid. You flip through it right in the middle. Had pictures from the film. I remember this picture being in it. That would have been cool if it was. Now, the do-back is in the movie, but this photo here up close is, looks like a promotional shot. Didn't make it into the film. So it's odd that they picked those three pictures to put on this poster. And then you got 3PO and R2 down there looking like R2 and 3PO looking cool as all get out. Uh, and you got the title written there in their language I cannot read. And was that was that 10 posters already? Man, that was fast. Anyway, that's a look at 10 great Star Wars foreign posters. Is there one that I missed that you really love? Leave it a link to it in the comments below and let me know because I love some of these posters. Some of them look great. Some of them look really wacky. It's like, why did they even choose that? But still looks pretty cool. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. As always, support this channel. Go over to Patreon.com, get some exclusive content, access to the Junkman Facebook group and more or head over to that junkman.com and buy some cool t-shirts. I'll be back very soon with another video. Thank you sir for that unsolicited testimony.